Death toll in Turkey and Syria continues to rise after Monday's earthquake. More than 20,000 people are dead, among them an Orlando couple. West News' Gail Pascoe Brown spoke to their longtime friend who says he's devastated in a story you'll see only on West 2. Gail. Stuart, this is such a heartbreaking story about this couple. Vasilios Polo says that Alex Elgin, or Elgin rather, was like a brother to him. He found out about what happened this morning, that Alex and his wife Veronica were found dead in their apartment holding each other. I don't know what this feeling is. So I'm just waiting for the, the freight train to hit me. Vasilios Polos got some devastating news Thursday out of Turkey about his best friend, Alex Ilgin, and his friend's wife, Veronica, that's left him numb. Alex's brother with the rescue team found him uh, under the rubble and confirmed that they were still in bed. Um, and it confirmed they were holding each other in bed with, with concrete on top. They didn't have a chance to even get up, just even maybe think the shaking what's going on and then lights out. It just... Unreal. He didn't deserve that. He says Alex's entire family lived in Eskandaran on Turkey's Mediterranean coast. They lived in this five-story building which was flattened in Monday's earthquake. And Alex's brother dug up the mother the day before. So their mother died as well. Alex and Veronica were from the Dr. Phillips area in Orlando. She was a nurse, he was a mortgage broker. Polis says they were in Turkey since January 28th for in vitro fertilization treatments. The newlyweds were married last July and were ready to start a family. They didn't know, so they didn't even get to hear the good news that they've been waiting for for so long. Now Polis is doing what he can to help the remaining family and others in the town by setting up a GoFundMe in Alex and Veronica Ilgin's name. I wanted to give as much money as I possibly can to the immediate family because they lost dozens of family members. There's barely anybody left. He also says people need blankets, shoes, and jackets, anything to keep them warm in the 20 degree weather. The suffering there is, is to a level that's, there's no words for it. Polis says that Alex's legal name is Eskender and the town's name is Eskender Rod. He says they're embedded in this beach town community where so many families have lost so much. Back to you, Stuart.